Hello Beyblade world, welcome back to another unboxing video. Well, unwrapping actually, um, gold box is here, but we're gonna be taking a look at the two new Power Custom Bay Launchers, Cyber Edition. So these launchers come in black and white versions, both of which have carabiner grips, and both of them looking super slick. These are limited editions and are only available for a limited amount of time, I believe. If we know of any promo codes for any stores that can help you save, we should have them listed on the description box down below, so feel free to use them. Anyways, let's go ahead and open these things up and then compare them with some of our other launchers. Okay, so let's do a quick overview of the parts that make up these launchers. First up, we have the power gear unit. So these things are better than the standard gear units that you see on standard custom bay launchers. Basically, these have smaller gears that help increase your launch power. So because these have smaller gears, your max number of rotations per launch should increase by about 3. So let's go ahead and count the number of rotations our launchers have. Uh, this is a standard gear unit. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, about eleven. Now moving on to the power gear unit. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13 and a half. Next up, we have the core unit, which houses the main gear and the string. So the gears are usually the same. What we want to find out is the length of the string. So let's go ahead and compare with the other launchers that we have. So let's go ahead and find out how long the string is for this guy. Twenty one point fifteen, I would say. Twenty one point eighteen, okay. Let's see if the white one has the same length. Twenty one point fifteen, there you go. Okay, next up is a standard custom launcher. Twenty one point zero one, about the same. Okay, so this is the gold version of the string launcher LR. Uh, this is supposed to have a longer string compared to other launchers of the same model. Let's go ahead and find out how long the string is. 17.43 And last but not least, we have the full custom launcher which features the long core unit uh, which is supposed to have a longer string compared to standard units. Three point eighty-three, And of course, we have the spin unit. So the ones that come with these two are the standard ones. Most custom launchers come with this, so there's really not much to say. But color-wise, these are way, way better. So this is an LR launcher, meaning you can launch both left and right spin bays using this. So right now, we are set to launch right spin bays. To change the spin direction, you just have to take these apart. Put the power gear unit on the L side, put the spin unit on the R side, and then there we go. So let's talk about the carabiner grips that come with these launchers. These grips come in two parts. We have the actual grip itself and the main attachment piece. So uh, this is basically where you attach the launcher and any additional grip accessories that you have. The grip itself can be taken off and moved around to your preference, which is the nice thing about carabiner grips. To remove the grip itself, you just have to flip it over, uh, pull this tab over here, and there you go. So the attachment rail for the launcher itself is pretty good. It's fairly easy to put them on and take them off. Uh, to attach your launcher to the grip, you just have to pull this tab down here, then put your launcher in and then lock it. To remove the launcher from your grip, just pull this out and then there you go. So again, you can customize your grip and launcher to your preference. Put them on like this. There you 
go. You feel like launching that way. More like this. So because these are carabiners, you can basically use it to hook your launcher on your pants or on your bag for easy access. To unlock the hook, you just have to spin right, pull it up, and to lock it, push down and spin left. Now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and test these guys out. So the first thing I want to do is test out how often we can activate overdrive gimmicks using these launchers. First bait we're going to test it on is Dangerous Bilial. Three, two, one. Okay, so burst stopper activated. And all might do. Let's try it one more time. Three, two, one. Oh. First stopper activated again. And all might activated as well. And next, let's try it out on Greatest Raphael. One, two, three. Activated. So the next thing I want to do is do some test battles with this guy. Um, it's the Power Launcher versus the Full Custom Launcher. Prominence Valkyrie versus Prominence Phoenix. Go. Oh, three, two, one. Pretty good power from the Power Launcher. Prominence Valkyrie heading straight to the center of the stadium thinking it has the advantage here and yes it won so yeah power launchers don't really lag behind full custom launchers that much uh, they're still pretty competitive if you ask me next up we have the battle of burst resistance we have savior perseus versus savior valkyrie ready three two one who's gonna burst first shot driver activated Savior Valkyrie going around Savior Perseus. This is going to be a stamina battle instead. But you never know with these guys. They can burst anytime. Let's go. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. For the last round, we have Chanker Baez versus Cypher Excalibur. Chain Kubeus goes on the power launcher and Cyclone Excalibur goes on the full custom one. Let's see if Chain can win. Ooh, heavy hits from Cyclone Excalibur. And it's running out of stamina. Chain Kubeus wins. Awesome battle. And that is it for this unboxing video. So the question is, are these things worth getting? Uh, the answer is a clear yes. So these things go for about $20 to $25, I believe. And if you think about it, that's basically how much a launcher goes for nowadays. So you're basically getting these grips for free. And again, these things look really cool and they perform really well. So I'm giving them five out of five stars. So yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. There should be links or other videos on this side and the subscribe button should be down here. Hope to see you guys again next time. Bye.